What is up, everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franklin. Welcome back to the weekend of vlog. It's your vlog. It's good to see you. And I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of starting this vlog late. Well, I mean, guys, come on. Look at all this chaos behind me. Come here. Come here. Guys, get up. All right, fine. I'll carry you around. I just recorded a video for my main channel. Look at all this chaos, guys. I just unboxed a bunch of accessories for my brand new Meta Quest 2. I am loving this headset, guys. Loving it, loving it, loving it. It is so much fun. But of course, it could be even better because I got myself a premium head strap, which is in here. And honestly, I'm probably not gonna set this up until tomorrow because I'm kind of short on time today. But uh, there you go. This is the Bobo VR M2 Pro Plus. It's got a magnetically attachable battery, guys. How cool is that? Easy to detach and reattach, which gives you two to three hours extra battery life. So now in theory, I have about five hours of battery life, which is really cool because twice now, twice I've gone through it and it just completely dies because I just love it that much. And I got myself a cheap $20 carrying case. And yes, $20 is cheap because there are much better, much, much more premium cases out there that you can get. But I figured, why can't I grip this? There you go. But I figured I could get something incredibly basic. It holds the MetaQuest 2 and the controllers and stuff like that. And I can even put some cables in there, such as this or the included power adapter. And this I will definitely be using for driftwood. I cannot wait to see my family try out VR for the first time. Guys, it's, it's going to be hilarious in the vlogs. Also got a link cable, some microfiber cloths, and some lens covers. Also, I plan on buying prescription lenses for the MetaQuest 2, so that way I can just do this, put the headset on, and enjoy it without my glasses. Now, thankfully, this works just fine with the glasses, with the glasses spacer, but even then, it's just annoying having to adjust the headset all the time because your glasses are moving and your, your nose gets a little itchy and whatever. So, I figured that would be pretty cool. If it works, I haven't been to the eye doctor in like a year and a half. Now, with that said, I do have my prescription paper still, and I'm hoping it's not out of date because I'll be using VRWave.com. And I actually had it set up last night. It would, it would cost me just around $100 for everything, which isn't bad. That's not bad for what it is. Uh, so, of course, I'll be keeping you guys updated in future videos. But for now, I just want to say hello. Today has been productive. I've just been getting stuff done around the house, getting the house cleaned up. Also handling taxes. Taxes are always fun. Uh, but I had a recent sponsorship pay me, so, or sorry, recent sponsor pay me. So uh, yeah, all that money's going towards taxes. That's not me to spend and have fun with, you know? And that's the joy of being self-employed. You have to be uh, responsible with your money. Now, obviously that applies to everybody, but being self-employed, your taxes don't automatically come out. You have to try to keep track of it on an estimated basis. It's it's impossible to know exactly how much you're gonna owe on taxes each year, which is part of the fun, honestly, and part of the depression, but <laughs> life goes on, it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up, edit this video, and then go out to Wawa for dinner. Yes, I called off dinner tonight with the parentals just, just, just because I have a lot going on. I wanna get all this stuff done. Um, and I'm gonna try to play my MetaQuest 2 tonight a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time but I at least want to hop into some maybe free free games that I found, you know, just to check them out. I think I'm going to avoid Beat Saber tonight. I've, I've, I've been playing a lot of Beat Saber. It makes me sore. It makes me frustrated. It makes me sweat. But man, let me tell you, it is a good workout, guys. And I talked about this plenty in the Patrons Only vlog. Patrons right below, guys. That vlog was well over an hour and 20 minutes this week, which is awesome. Anyway, I talked about the fact that I'm going to be using my MetaQuest 2 to try to stay fit, to get some exercise in. And guys, let me tell you, Beat Saber is a legit workout. You sweat afterwards, you ache, you hurt. Guys, it's literally hard to walk afterwards because the game, yeah, it's mostly your arms, but now and then these giant walls come toward you and you have to drop down, you know, in real life because the wall's above you, and then you gotta get back up and it, it's so much fun, so much fun. And I'll be talking about this and obviously demonstrating VR in future videos. Um, but honestly, I'm in no rush because capturing VR is very tricky when you want to do it over a wired connection. I'm not a big fan of the wireless thing. It works, but it's, it's, it's not good enough for my standards. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in the process of figuring all that out, including the link cable that I got today, a 16 foot link cable at that. Hello guys, I just want to say hi. And of course, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your support. 
This weekend's vlog will likely be short. It is what it is. I'm just busy with other things, but either way, enjoy. All right, moments later, just finished editing this video. I actually might publish that tomorrow. I kind of don't want to wait until Monday, but maybe I will wait until Monday. You know what? I will, I will check my analytics and I can see based on my YouTube stats, when is the best time and the best day to publish? Because get this, according to YouTube, the best time of day that my viewers are on my channel, or, or at least active on YouTube, I mean, is between 2 and 3 p.m., which is fascinating to know. So if my analytical traffic is pretty high on Saturdays, then I'll publish tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll hold off until Monday. I think Sunday is the worst day. I'm pretty sure it is. But either way, pay attention to your analytics. I, I'm, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and I finish my coffee. Yeah, I tend to brush my teeth a lot. I mean, especially if I drink coffee and let's face it, I'm always drinking coffee, so I'm always brushing my teeth. I'm gonna play the MetaQuest 2 for a little bit, a little bit, not too long, cause I'm kinda, I'm kinda short on time tonight, unfortunately. But I got everything I wanted to get done today, which is awesome. Very, very good. Uh, then I'm gonna hit up Wawa, watch the Lost Season 2 episode. One, I mean, like episode one of season two. One of my favorite episodes when they go into the hatch. Oh my God, incredible. All right, see you when I see you. And I'm home. I got sucked into the VR world a little bit. It's already eight o'clock. I played the trial of Moss. You know, that game about the little tiny mouse. Guys, what a cool experience. That is what they call a seated VR experience. You just sit down on the couch and the game puts out this world in front of you, right? And while you have to guide this mouse around through like this 3D environment, you know, just basic jump mechanics, climb, all that stuff. But you move things with your hand and you have to help the mouse through the course. And there are certain parts, like secret parts of the levels where you collect these collectibles. Good word, David. That you can only find by looking around the walls, like physically looking around the walls. Really, really cool experience. And I played it a while ago on PS4 but I've never owned it. And I still don't own it because it's only the trial, which is technically the full game, but it's a 30 minute timed trial of that game, which is really cool. Like that's a great way of playing a game and seeing whether it's worth the price. And in this case, it's $20. Y'all yeah, buy it eventually, um, but I'm in no rush. I'm just kind of exploring the meta store to see what's out there. And of course I checked out the movie theater again called Big Screen. I was watching Jurassic Park in 3D with complete strangers, people just like talking around me. Such a cool experience. And guys, the ambient lighting of the movie, you know, like colors and everything, reflecting on the walls around you, it makes it look so legit. But anyway, I went to Wawa, got myself some coffee, got this for tonight's snack. Cheese and pepperoni with some crackers for doing Fortnite or whatever I'm playing tonight. I got a medium mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese never ever disappoints. And of course I got it topped with Old Bay seasoning. Ah! And this I've never had. Their spicy chicken sandwich. I've had the regular chicken sandwich a few times and it's, it's either hit or miss, but I've never had the spicy one before. So I'm quite, quite curious about it. It's literally just spicy seasoning it seems like. It doesn't seem like it's a spicy patty. Uh, so we'll see. Not gonna lie, I'm a little skeptical, but it's a brioche bun. Brioche bun is always a win in my eyes. Sir, you're staying inside. And I'm surrounded by cats right now. We got Zero, we got George, we got Maui, and we got little Z. Love my keys. All right, I'll let you guys know how the chicken sandwich is. I have a bad feeling about it, but hopefully it's good. Hey, if anything, that medium mac and cheese is filling as it is. Previously on Lost. Ooh, big episode. Woo. I, hold on. Cannot see you. You guys gotta love pass through. Oh my God. I love Beat Saber, dude. I love it so much. It is so much fun. <laughs> so I, I finally, 
Headset down. So I, I finally tried Population One, which is a battle royale. Huge, huge BR fan here, you know? It's fun. You know, the overall mechanics are incredible, like the, the, the whole climbing and the fact that you have to physically reload your gun instead of just pushing a button. Like you actually have to rack the gun, load the ammo, all that stuff. Really, really cool experience. But I just don't see myself playing it. It's just too complex in my opinion for a BR, you know, in terms of movement and aiming and everything. However, I'm definitely excited and very, very interested in finding other shooters. Not so much BR shooters, just like, you know, like a single player experience. But Beat Saber alone, I don't know why I keep showing the TV, it's not related, is keeping me coming back to the uh, MetaQuest. I, I love this thing so much, guys. I love it, love it, love it. And I decided to wait until Monday to upload my accessories video. And guys, I can't say this enough. This is a good, solid workout. If I do this every day, then that means I'm gonna be burning more calories than ever. You know, instead of just sitting down on my butt, working on videos and stuff like that. It really is a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, by the way, it's Saturday. I think I'll play one more song, then I'm off the sheets. I've had nothing to eat today, by the way, so this isn't the smartest thing I'm doing. I've only had coffee and a little bit of water, but it is what it is. All right, back to Beat Saber. And I'm home. I've got a lot of cats inside right now. Little Z, Gizmo, you might be Attacking little Z. Never mind, he's getting comfortable. Good boy, Giz. Gizzy Wizzy. Oh, you're such a handsome boy. You're so handsome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. You're a good boy. Zero. George. Little stripes and patches are outside. And there's Maui. Missing a leg again. You alright? It's okay. You're fine, you're fine, you'll get by. All right guys, I'm back from sheets. I'm feeling it in my arms already. Right Gizmo? It's a workout. <laughs> you're so cute. Got a big old water for during dinner. Got a coffee for during my stream. And a spicy chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks, baby. Mixing things up tonight. Oh, okay, so I usually get the spicy chicken sandwich, but I don't always get mozzarella sticks. And cheese sticks are actually really good, especially with marinara sauce. Hopefully they didn't forget. Yes, thank God. That's the thing, Sheets rarely forgets. McDonald's, <laughs> different story, you know? All right, I'm gonna get my sheets on. Right, is that okay with you? You're so cute. All right, all right. You guys are cute too. Relax. Previously on Lost. God, I love that show. I'm on season two, episode three. Hi, Jennifer. Happy Sunday, everybody. Mom, um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm well. I was gonna say that, yeah. I'm well. You seem stressed. Just trying to get dinner out. There's a lot going on, guys. Tonight's dinner, it's avocado. Little, it's a little weird. Just kidding. No, no. Tonight's dinner is not weird at all. All the I did, salads were a last minute thing. I didn't know we were having this. Buffalo chicken salad with cheesy mashed potatoes and <laughs> apparently some carrots. I know. Yeah, that is kind of weird. But <laughs> I'm excited because I, I have had nothing to eat all of day. you have it. Here you go. Guys, I brought my headset strap because I still haven't installed it. I'm gonna... Mashed potatoes are hot. All right, thank you. So I'm, I'm gonna install this yeah. hopefully while I'm here because tonight I got a preview of the vlog and everything and I know I'm gonna get distracted. And if I don't do it here, then I'll do it at home, but I brought it You're just in case. Distracted? I know. Never. Guys, here we go. Look at all that food on that picture. It's a lot of food, but most of it's, well not most of it's healthy, but a good a good portion of it's healthy. Thanks, Ma. First up, baby carrot. Cause I know, cause I know these get cold fast. Shout out to Gail and Sarah. Their, their dogs got sprayed by skunks. I know, it's amazing. Did I that? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that sucks. Or should kill, I say. Did they kill it? Did they clean it with tomato juice? That stinks. <laughs> I oh, am. Yeah. Mm. Next up, potatoes, which might be hot. It has a little sauce. Potatoes are hot. Yeah, don't eat the potatoes. Amen. 
You have a drink? We're watching Jet. Huh? David! <laughs> Spit it out, Arkin! Oh! Are you okay? Mm -hmm. David. Ah. Are you okay? Mm hmm. But now, or some motherfucking chicken. David, chicken. Mmm. Really bad. And I'm home. Yep, just like that. Didn't really do much at the Pretzels house. Just had dinner with them, watched Jeopardy, talked, all that stuff. Really not much vlog worthy. Sorry, kind of a short vlog this weekend. But check this out. We set up my new head strap on the MetaQuest 2. Hold on, let me get out the battery. It's quite intimidating once everything is up and running. Check it out, guys. It goes this way, magnetically attaches. Boom, look at that. It's that easy. Detach, boom. Isn't that awesome? God, look how busy it looks now. It looks so, so official. But yeah, it works great, guys, and this headset is, I'm sorry, head strap. I keep calling it headset. This, this head strap is quite comfortable. Very, very easy to adjust with this knob on the back. Listen, you can tighten and loosen it. I love it. Not a single regret, except for this case purchase. It's a great case, incredibly basic, incredibly simple. It does the job, but stupid me didn't factor in the fact that I bought a larger head strap. Sorry, jump cut. M Mau Mau is distracting me. He's playing with the toy in the background. Anyway, getting to the point, this is larger than this. So obviously this is no longer going to fit in the case like it normally did with the default head strap. Not a big deal though, because I'm still gonna keep this one because this can hold my controllers, accessories, such as the batteries and some cables. So it's all good. It works out. Which means I am in the market for a larger case that can hold a larger head strap on the MetaQuest 2. Anyway guys, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Gotta go. Got lots to do because I found out we're going to Driftwood this weekend coming up guys. Yes, this weekend, which means no Twitch streams, but a much longer and more interesting weekend vlog than you have received in recent weeks. So definitely stay tuned. It's going to be a very good family focused weekend. Hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Now I vaughn up some food. He, he tends to eat too fast and George is trying to eat it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued support and thank you to everyone who became a YouTube member. Yes, YouTube members can now get early access because memberships are back. Early access to the weekend vlogs, holiday videos, vacation videos, all that stuff. Information is right below. Click that link, join up. Thank you so much and I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a great week or weekend ahead and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.